Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video! I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and today I'm going to show you kind of a quick card. Um, they are beyond gorgeous. I think I absolutely love the paper so the paper do all the work for you. This is Falling in Love, a new paper in the occasion catalog and what I'm going to show you it's how to make a hundred and eight card with a full pack of paper. So if you don't need that many cards, that is okay, but I needed that many and more for some thank you card. So that's the paper that I choose to use this time. So if you see here, you're going to see um, all on one. Um, here we go. So this is one print. I mean, the six piece of paper, you get 12 piece of paper, but two of each print. And I did want to show you in all those color, but remember, it's always printed on two sides. So you get this print, that's going to be the reverse, reverse. So you see, it's, and I absolutely love this paper. It's called Falling in Love. Well, let me tell you. I did fall in love with this paper. So I'm going to show you this quick. If you look at it quickly, uh, you can see I get two tone. I'm going to show you how to do that. Very simple. So let's remove this. And uh, when you're going to cut your paper, you're going to cut it in strip of four inch. After you cut it at four inch, turn it around, cut at five and a quarter and five and a quarter. Well, on each strip, you're going to have this border left that measure um, four by one and a half. Well, like I said, I wanted to use all the paper. So what I've done with that, I thought I brought it and I did it. What I've done with that, oops, drop everything. I did uh, the 36 card like this. So that's why I get a 108 card with... Um, the the designer series paper so i use it all didn't waste any bits and piece and how many card stock you're going to need you some of them i did in um sarah sand and some of them i did in crumb cake so you're going to need a pack of each color plus six sheets so three of each uh, color to do the whole thing so here we go let's remove this and I'm going to show you both how quick they are. So the stamp set that I'm using, it's a Dragonfly Dream, a new one in the Occasion catalog. I'm going to be using, uh, I need my foam pad here. Well, I got a bits and pieces here. I'm going to use this. Uh, we're going to start with Early Espresso, not black. I'm using Early Espresso. We're going to stamp our Dragonfly. And I'm going to come about right here. Voila. Now, while I got that, I got a card uh, stock here. Okay, this is the crumb cake. I'm going to take this and put it right here. So we're going to do both at the same time. Now, the next step, I try some with the yellow, like Daffodil or so saffron, and I come back with the pool party. So we're going to do the second step. That's going to be the wing in the pool party. Like this. Remove this and let's do the other one. We're going to do both at the same time so then I don't have to open and close the ink pad. It's going to go faster. Going to do this. Okay, now if you wonder where did I get the yellow? Well, first I was doing with the So Saffron marker and then I decided to use the Wink of Stella, the gold one. So what I done, I just colored the eyes and the body a little bit where you get the opening. And then where I missed some of the colors there, I just add some of the Wink of Stella. Um, what I like about this, it gives me a little bit of shimmer instead of just the yellow there. So I thought that was two for one, really. So you can add just a little bit here and there where you feel happy to add some. You don't have to add much, see? 
I bet you can see a bit of the color. And then I did the same thing for this one. I just add where it's open there, the wing of Stella in the gold, a little bit here and there. So I just, and I went even someplace on top, just add some different color on my wing. I think it add a very lovely touch. And yes, I'm going to do over a hundred and something on these cards and I'm going to do all those little touch. It don't take long after you start. Um, I'm seeing the camera don't do justice, but it add quite a bit. So now I need a piece of um, Sarah sand here for this one. We're going to mount that. Take this, mount that right here. So what I do when I do that many, I do all my cutting first and then I come and do all my stamping in. So the <clears throat> on the outside, I'm going to stamp in uh, Early Espresso and I get to a wonderful friend. I just put that at the top right corner over here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, in the bottom, I get the early espresso marker here. And I just add a little bit like he's flying. That is it. And then inside, I need a piece of scrap paper. Let me reach for, here we go. Um, inside, I did the dragonfly, the detail one. Stamp that right here. And then inside, it's a to a wonderful friend, right? Yeah, to a wonderful friend. And inside it's a thanks for the smile and everything else. I absolutely love this greeting. This is it for this card. See how quick this was? Now for the other one. So uh, this measure, and like I said, this is all the strip that was left when you cut. That one, the DSP measure four by um, one and a half. Then I cut um, early espresso that measure four and one eight by one and five eight. I could have went at one and um, three quarter by uh, four and a half. I just wanted a little border. So I'm going to take this, mount that right here. See, I just wanted to fine border, nothing chunky. Take this, put this over here, and again I'm going to take my, oh I forgot one step, that's okay, we're going to come back. Take my uh, writing marker, to the greeting there, and then this one I thought it was missing something, so I decided to add one extra stamp set. And that is the Gorgeous Grunch, this stamp set here. Yeah, I use that one a lot. And I'm using Saracen on Saracen paper, but I still want it a little bit lighter. So what I then stamp off, voila, just to add a little bit of little dots. And inside I'm going to do the same thing than this one here. Oops, that one is done. Oh, it's done. Voila, same thing. So now you get one on horizontal and one on the vertical. And that way you're using every bits and piece of your paper. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, to get all the measurements now to cut your paper to get that many and the supplies list, just hit the high above or below in the description. You're gonna, it's going to bring you to my blog uh, post. And again, for all the stamping up product, you can order it right there. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friends.